Hey, what's up? Um, my name is Mario Ilif and I'm the author of, of the book, The Free Fat Burner. And um, I published my book probably a year ago, and I've I've had a lot of a lot of people actually uh, buying it and emailing me uh, about uh, how good my book is. So um, I'm taking this very seriously, and. Um, since my book is about health and nutrition, I am switching gears a little bit because first five years of my training, I've been following common sense about fitness, nutrition, and what's healthy and what you should eat to burn fat and build muscle. And common sense is pretty much you gotta eat plenty of protein and. Uh, stuff like this. Now, uh, protein, the most common protein uh, that comes from uh, animal sources in the United States where I live is beef and poultry. Uh, it's not a secret how, uh, how bad red meat and poultry is for you because it's pumped with all kinds of steroids and also l lives in uh, pretty bad conditions and uh, it's pretty much bad for you so now I'm rewriting my book and I've been doing a lot of research and the truth is that the cheap farm farm raised animal protein is bad for you so I'm completely eliminating that from my diet as well as de uh, dairy and uh, and whey protein protein powder which is made out of dairy. So I'm kind of switching to a vegetarian vegan diet where uh, I'm I'm going to be consuming uh, fruit, vegetables, grains, nuts, and I'm going to limit my my uh, protein consumption to. Um, wild caught fish and maybe some uh, organic uh, eggs from from uh, cage free from cage free uh, hens now today what we're gonna make is some um, some steamed fish with steamed vegetables I went to the store and I found this uh, this is Alaskan wild cod fish it's wild caught wild fish so I mean there are no steroids in that there are no antibiotics so I'm gonna eat this as my post-workout meal okay there is some preparation that uh, we have to do okay as you can see I have this uh, steamer going on here I'm gonna steam the fish and when the fish is ready I'm gonna add the vegetables to steam a little bit so before I add the fish I want to marinate it slightly in in my special fish marinade which is made out of uh, of lemon juice olive oil black pepper and salt uh, I'm just gonna squeeze some 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 lemon juice in this plate right here okay this is plenty I just want to remove the seed like this and I'm just gonna add a little bit of uh, olive oil and I'm gonna add some salt this is a little bit kosher salt and I also need some black pepper is black pepper this marinade is pretty good for any kind of fish that uh, you might want to eat you can marinate salmon tuna swordfish anything you want so I'm just gonna go ahead and and put this a little bit in the marinade like this actually the best thing to do would be to um, put the fish in the marinade and let it sit in the fridge for a couple of hours 
that way the marinade is going to stick to the fish pretty good because when you when you put the olive oil in the fridge it kind of it kind of gets uh gets more more thick gets thicker and and sticks to the fish better now because i don't want this video to be like five hours i'm just i'm just gonna drop the fish in the steamer all right so here's my steamer it's steaming pretty good I'm just going to drop this fish here and I believe it's going to cook pretty fast. Okay, I'm just going to put it like this. I'll increase the temperature a little bit and I'm going to close it. Now, we need to take care of the rest. So I'm just going to put this right here. And I'm going to add some cabbage, some cauliflower, some uh, some carrot to that. And now when I think about it, I have some uh, some sprouts, some bean sprouts in my fridge. just gonna wash my carrot one second all right you see how how quickly this will cook just want to cut the carrot like this a little bit And we're gonna put the carrot first in the steamer because it takes the longest to uh, to steam. Actually, we're not gonna kill the vegetables. We're just going to steam them for a couple of minutes. When you cook vegetables too much, you're pretty much killing all the nutrients in them. So you don't want to do that. If you don't like crunchy vegetables, hmm. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. And we're gonna add some cabbage to the whole to the whole deal. Just a little bit like this. It'll be fine. Okay. Let's check out the fish. It's steaming pretty wild. Just gonna fish is falling apart. It's so flaky. I guess I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try to I'm not gonna try to flip it because it's gonna fall apart completely. And also, this is the first time I'm cooking codfish. I usually, I usually do salmon, or or tuna fish, or swordfish. Never had cod before. Just try it. Now I have a little bit of the marinade left here. I can just pour it on top of the fish like this uh, you can also make some of this marinade fresh on the side to put it on the fish when the fish is ready uh, the reason why you don't want to put this one on the fish is because uh, the raw fish was in it and if you want to put some on your fish just make some 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 fresh on the side and uh, that's that. I'm going to try a little piece. Hmm, it's pretty good. 
I'm just going to give it a couple more minutes. I guess um, I guess I can add the the carrots like this. And broccoli on top of it. All right. Now, I want to do something else here. Uh, I'm going to use a little soy sauce. I'm just going to put a little soy sauce. Oh, whoa, that's a lot. Huh. All right, let's try this one more time. Just a little bit. This soy sauce, actually I can put some vinegar in it, it's going to do great on the vegetables. I'm just going to mix it a little bit like this. And this is going to go on top of the vegetables and probably on top of the fish too. Of course I can always add some more lemon on the fish. Okay. Looks like things are are looking pretty good. Just gonna give it a couple more minutes before I show you what it looks like. Okay. According to my standards, the vegetables are ready. I don't know if you can see that. Go with that. And steam is pretty hot. Just want to try the fish one more time and make sure that it's cooked. I'm just going to turn this off. Mm. Pretty nice. Okay, I just want to transfer these vegetables in that. And... Uh, some of the fish on it. Okay. Not much of a presentation, but it's going to do the job. And I'm just going to put the soy sauce on it, like this. So, uh, I'm ready actually to, to eat that. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you want to find out more about my book, go to my website, thefreefatburner.com. Thank you very much.